Hi, this is Lou, welcome to my channel. And today's video is going to be another watercolour exercise. We're going to be making some loose abstract shapes and then adding in some detail with more watercolour and with some pens. So what I've got today is I've got my set of watercolour paints. I've got a paper towel. I've got two glasses of water. Uh, one of them I'll use for cleaning my brush and then the other one I will use for if I need any clean water for, for mixers. I've got a paintbrush. So this one is a sable haired watercolour brush but whatever brush you have will work just fine. And then I've got a couple of pens. So I've got a fine liner pen. I've got lots of these in different sizes but today I'm going to be using this 0.3. I've also got a white pen, and I know a white pen's a bit of a luxury item, so if you don't have one of these, then maybe you could use another coloured felt tip, or uh, if you've got a gel pen, or uh, you could even use some white paint and a narrow paintbrush. So I've got my paper stretched out and taped down to the surface. So I've used washi tape, but masking tape works just as well, and that allows me to get plenty of paint and water on the paper and then if it buckles up it'll just go back to its original shape. So I'm going to take two colours for this and I think looking at the swatch I think I'm going to take this olive green and my favourite indigo blue and I'm going to work with those two. Take some water on my brush, get the pigment from the pan and add it to the palette. And some clean water before I go in with the second colour. And now I'm getting some of the paint on my brush, just as it is, not mixing it at all. And then I'm going to make some big loose shapes on the paper. So I'm going to steer clear of the edges, I'm going to try and keep it in the centre. And I don't want to be too neat about it. So I could try and paint like really nice neat circles. That's not really what I want. So I'm just going to go in and just see where my paintbrush takes me. So one, add a little more water and I'm to do a big one up here. And then I'm going to go in with the other colour and I'm going to create a shape. And what I want to do is just touch the edge of one of the shapes and allow the colours just to merge at that edge. There we go. And I think we need a bit more of that. Maybe one down here. And I really like the effect I'm getting up here where the colours are bleeding into one another. I think I need maybe one more shape, but what I want is a colour that's halfway between the two. So I'm going to take some of the blue and add some of the green into it and create me a nice little shape here in the centre. And for now, that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to leave this to dry and then I'm going to come in again. So I'm going to go off and have a cup of tea and come back a little bit later and work on it some more. So now my colours are dry, I'm going to come in again and add a couple of little smaller bits that I want to overlap with some of these uh, shapes that I've made. So I'm just going to use the same colours again.
so because we allowed the previous colours to dry, we can overlap these colours and shapes. Now I'm going to take a slightly smaller brush and I'm going to start adding in just some little bits of, of colour in a slightly different way just by adding some some detailed areas with some spots and stripes and things and if you put something in one place it's a good idea to add it in another as well so this bit here is still wet so when I go in there it's going to run a little bit but that's okay So now I can come in with my pens and start adding some areas of finer detail in here and I'm going to alternate uh, between the black pen and the white pen and just add some little areas of detail and I'm going to stick again with these uh, spots and stripes. I'm going to do uh, little spots um, and some very fine lines with kind of wiggly stripes in. So I'm going to use the shapes that I've put down and sometimes I'm going to uh, stick to the edges and sometimes I'm going to go over them. Sometimes I'm going to fill in the white space in between areas and sometimes I'll fill in the areas themselves. So I'm going to start here with some circles. how far I want to go. Do I want to fill in the whole area or do I just want to do a little bit around the edge? So I just keep stopping and looking at it and saying does that, does that look like enough? And if it is then I'll leave it as it is and if not I'll add a bit more. And then because I've done something in one area it's a good idea to do it in another as well. So I'm going to uh, do some of those little circles somewhere else. So let's see, maybe in here. So now I'm going to switch to the white pen and start drawing some stripes. Just press it down a few times to get the ink flowing. And I'm just going to keep going and adding little details with the pens in different places and there will all be some variation of spots and stripes.
finished piece. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's all dry now, and I've uh, I've gone to town with the little spots and and stripes and the details and things, but I think it's brought it all together. You can see there's a flow through the painting from, from one side to the other, and I think that kind of gives it a cohesive look. Uh, the colours that I've picked have made this look like some kind of undersea scene where you might these little, these might be like little markings on fish or something like that, but uh, they're really not, they're just abstract patterns, and you can see in it whatever you want to see. So if you do create something like this, if you tag me, I'm on social media. I'm on Instagram at Lou Rachel Davis, and I've got a Facebook page at Lou Davis Artist and Maker. I really hope you enjoyed this, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks very much. Bye bye.